Nope, Good. totally pro gun. Oh, I'm not mocking anybody. I mean, I do know manic idiot for some god awful reason. I can't smoke marijuana, and I don't really fuck with him. But and I did say I wouldn't, and I damn, I did. Okay, I'm a dick, I'm a fucking dickhead. <coughs> but since I already did it, <coughs> hey, look, man, I'm um, I'm gonna put the rest of this fat doobie. Unless someone would like me to pick from the jar, you can pick from the jar. We've got like a huge sack back there. If somebody wants me to pick, I'll do so, but whatever. I'm gonna smoke this doobie. <laughs> and thank you, God bless you. I tell you what, uh, thank. Uh, I mean it for that uh, manic, manic idiot. It doesn't really matter that you said it's all good, but it does to me. And um, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna blow it up. What does it matter? Nobody's here. Do they eight people? Or it's like a little gathering. But what am I gonna do? I'm gonna blow up your shit like, oh, Manic Idiot's last video was so fucking cool, it saved my life tonight, which is true. I mean, that was, who is that? And that's your icon and shit, eh? I mean, that was so good, man. It was so good. It really was so good. It made me I feel like a million bucks. So I'm gonna ask y'all, come on, man. Since everybody's here and you can see we'll keep weeding out the weaklings. If I just keep talking like this, well, you go from 8 to 9 to 10 to 11. That's how I was high I got last time. And they're only here because I'm talking. All you people, you're like the long timers, man. 058, he fucking hears me talk every three three days a week. Mad Dodge Production, he's here at least two days a week. He's usually here every week. I mean, I, 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 but I, all y'all hear me talk all the fucking time. So, ah. <sighs> No, I ain't gonna waste nothing, dude. Watch this. I'm wasted. I ain't waste nothing. I may or may not grow this shit, but uh, yeah, I do. It's legal, but I don't. I don't waste nothing. I'm the kind of guy that fuck. I don't care if I had 15 pounds right here. I would still like the little leavings, you know, from a doobie. Look, I got it on my plate right here. Look, I got it on my plate right here. It's like little doobie leavings. And the black shit right there, that's resin from inside this pipe. I smoked the resin again from the pipe, even if I've got weed. You know, I scrape the pipe, and when a big globule comes out like this one, you know, I, I smoke it. I don't, I don't fucking waste. I waste anything. I mean, you could come to a day. You could have 15 pounds. Like, I just, whatever. You could have whatever you, I, you know, whatever you got. One day, it's going to come to an end, and you'll wish you hadn't wasted that shit. You know, there's many of people, man. You know, I ain't rubbing it in either, uh, Manic Idiot. But there's many of people. Maybe Manic Idiot, maybe somebody else, maybe somebody in jail. You know, they wish they had some fucking a doobie. And for all the rhetoric going around about how prisoners got it too fucking easy, you know what? Fuck you. Go be in jail, bitch. See how you like it. Every prisoner is, in my humble opinion, should get four marijuana cigarettes a day, four doobies. I mean, nice ones. Do whatever they want with it. They can smoke it and trade it. Get four marijuana cigarettes a day, nice ones, just like a regular cigarette a day. Wake up, breakfast, lunch, dinner. That's why I said four. Uh, or it could be if you didn't want to wake up, it could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, go to bed. Uh, who knows? But it's four a day. And then cigarettes, every inmate should get what? 30 cigarettes a day, I'd say. 30. It's a pack and a half. Let them do what they want. They can smoke it. They can trade them. Same deal. But the idea that we got to punish people so horribly, you know? Well, take their TV and Barney. They can't even watch Barney. You know? Because if you're in prison, you got TV. It's not like you've got, you know, Skinamax. And all the, you know, whatever. You're getting what's broadcasting out to the willy wags where they have the prison. <laughs> you know, they got a lot of federal prisons out in Nevada. The reason why is not what you may think. Denver's got a few, but Nevada's got a lot of federal prisons. I think it's got the most of any state. The reason why? Well, I don't care how rich your people are or what they got. In this country, it's hard to bribe people to get people out of prison, like I'll chop it with a motorcycle underneath that. Okay, so when we go to this idea, <clears throat> you're in Nevada. No place to run to, baby. No place to hide. <laughs> 
love love lock man i know loveland i man love lock the, this a town in nevada me and mrs ogre driven through it a few times i'll tell you what you wouldn't want to escape from there not if you didn't have a car or you know a horse at the very least and directions a horse and directions because if you went the wrong way with a horse ooh, that just would mean you would be further away when your horse died <laughs> yeah but man it can, oh goodness gracious i just looking back over here just seeing that you're still here so i'm gonna play a quick shorty because i've been picking some long ass tunes and uh, when I'm done with this, hopefully someone will give me a suggestion. We'll have a good old time. We're going to rock in the Christmas season. Well, I don't know. Or maybe I'm so drunk that when this is the last couple tunes, I might just go fuck on the bed. It's up to you people. You people is what matters. So let me see here. I'm actually going to play two songs back to back with no interruption. Well, I mean, well, by no interruption, I mean not for long. Uh, but the first one's a very little-known tune. Uh, it's called Waves. Enjoy your Christmas jam with your beloved, ever-loving, blue-eyed ogre. <laughs> that took me by surprise. I'm not even joking. I'm just sitting here, I'm looking at the chat. And yes, I just typed it. And, oh man, look, if you subscribe to Mad Dodge Productions, Manic Idiot, you're not, you won't be disappointed. I'm not saying, I don't know. No, because I mean, if God knows, no one watches me every day. Oh, maybe there's a couple, and I love the ones that do. But very few. And there's people like me that watch the Red Eye stream every fucking time it's on. I mean, I know there. I miss some, but it's because I have not been here. <laughs> but if I'm here, I turn the red eye on. Man, you got Cabbage Patch Bastards. You got Forty Ouncer. You got Zachary. Those were on tonight, uh, Mad Dodge. But I tell you, yeah, it is more. Uh, you just go by, and it, it's worth the price of admission just to see Mad Dodge production. And uh, the Cabbage Patch Bastard, that's no shit. Now, that said, everybody needs to bust Cabbage Patch Bastard's ass, man. Because I'm fucking over his stupid ass mic. It's a crock of shit. Did I get, um, if I got any suggestions that I didn't see. Oh, Mad Dodge Production sent me something. Let me look. No, it's just your fucking thing, Mad Dodge. I'm looking for requests. Okay, you know what? Fuck y'all. Uh... You know, uh, that was so weird. When I took it back to there, I went and looked at what Mad Dodge said. And when I come back, I just went a big, oh, because it said waiting for ogre for a long time. So am I roboting at all? Let me know if I am. Hopefully my voice sounds clear. Been weird shit going on lately. But since I'm waiting for some requests, I will pick up this next one. And I'll bullshit a little bit in between. Uh, I don't know if you know it, uh, Manic Idiot, but you're kind of uh, like a celebrity to me that you're here right now is badass. I'm very glad. And I would love to play anything you'd like to hear, Manic Idiot. Everybody else, yeah, whatever. And tell me what you'd like to hear. And yeah, if, man, you know, I might play it. But uh, until then, Manic, if you've got something, yeah, let me know, man. I'll rock and roll that shit. Uh, oh, yeah. So here we go. I think I was playing something and then I came back. Goodbye. See you in two songs. No doubt about that. As we roll on head first into this new brave world of 2018. <laughs> Okay, they're saying reset your roboting, and I can't hear you at all. So I'm going to continue. He, he is gone now. Well, thank goodness I came back. While he's gone, folks, I'm going to play one more tune. Glad y'all are here. There's 10 of y'all. And Mad Dodge, say something right now so I can see um, if I can is hear that you. No, is that better? Mad Dodge? I just dropped out and came back. Yeah, is it working now? Can it can can you chat? Uh, you can come oh. on right now, manic idiot. Are you fucking a manic idiot? 
What are you bored? I you can come on right now, dude. I got one well, more song to play. I'm gonna try to desperately find Manic Idiot also. Just well, to see anybody... if this Mad Dodge production thing is my fault, so he knows I'm not just being a dick. Because I'm trying to see if I can hear you. And some people said you were a robot, and that made me feel great because I've changed everything in my speakers. And I even checked some other shit. I can hear everything, but I can't hear you, Mad Dodge. Uh, so love you. You're here. Try all you want. But now I will play one more song. Uh, love this tune too, man. If we would all learn this lesson, our lives would be better. And then while I do that, uh, I'll try to find Mad Dodge. I mean, excuse me, a uh, manic idiot. I would love to hear his two cents. He actually made my. F- I wasn't even joking about that manic idiot. You made my Christmas complete with the most recent video you did that the finer print (laughs) tweeted out it made my and you were on the bottom of my sub list i never watch your shit because it never comes through and so when i seen i was like ah i went and watched like four other vids i'm like oh why don't i watch every vid he puts out so i you know of course i put you up to the top of the list hit the little dingy dingy and so i'll get the dingy dingies when they come through so here we go one more tune i will look for everyone hopefully everyone will be able to come through ogre ogre there's a lull in the song do not play barbie girl don't do it oh lord see well that was a long no. roundabout and now i'm gonna try again i got lots of time mad dodge so if you're there say something they will hear you so if i'm yeah. still having a problem it looks like they'll hear you well, so what I'll yeah. do is I can see when you're talking. I'll just, I'm gonna do my best. I'll click it off, and I'm just gonna. So, are you there, Mad Dodge? Yeah, the chat seems to be able to hear me, and I honestly think that song. Okay, was like answered. I said, let me know out there if you can hear him talking, folks. And seriously, yeah, I can't believe that. Look, I... I'm gonna restart my whole shit just for Mad Dodge. I'm not even kidding. I wouldn't do this for many people, but I just did the other day. So I've got this on voice meter got voice meter here oh so let me do that oh i got it. i figured it out hello yeah, can you hear me now gotcha yeah. can you hear me yes just gotcha there we go you heard me say i figured it out so too. okay go ahead i'm so stupid go ahead. well well no i i think that song is cancer and you know i should listen to my i have deep space and i'm playing on my tv but no, I didn't take off my headphones. No, I sat through the whole fucking cancerous song. <laughs> that was a, that was a rough one. I won't even lie. That was yeah, video killed the radio star. That's not that. I mean, I'm not gonna lie either. I mean, it's not my favorite. But you know what? I just want to well, make people happy. It seemed like an upbeat song. At, at least you didn't play Barbie Girl or something. Oh, you know, or that's, that's a rough one. That's a real. That's even worse. Yes. Yeah, it could have been bad. You know that blue song? I fucking hate that shit. Lord of blue, blue I am blue. I'm fucking yeah, no, another don't, blue. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do yeah, it. No, you just did it to me, fuck stick, So I mean, it's too late for me. <laughs> what the fuck happened to Cabby? Somebody's got to fucking break down and tell that hard-headed motherfucker he's got to get a new computer or something because it ain't fucking whatever he keeps saying. And, and I want the to control have, room. He was killing me. He's killing me. He's on. He keeps and, and you know, Cap. If he's good, he's good, right? He's good air. I mean, he's good. He's no yeah. joke. I mean, I, I know you like him, and he's your friend, and all that. He's my friend too. But all that on top, he's also really good. He talks shit, and it sounds good. Man, with the whole kicking in and out shit, I can't. I die. Yeah, no, and what's getting to me with Cabbage is, like, Cabbage is a regular on the red eye. He is my friend. We talk almost every day. I mean, really, we do. And Hangouts or Discord, me and him hang out almost every day. So, like, damn, it's not the control room, dude. It's either Google or you need to, like, see, he shuts down. The computer pops up with a bunch of processes, right? It's running a bunch of different shit at one time. And he shuts most of them down. One of those is probably the fucking control room for Google. Like, you know, Cabbage Patch (laughs) is Cabbage Patch Bastard is too smart for his own good. That is my guess. Because, like you said, oh, he shuts it in. He's got this. He builds everything, and I guarantee you that he's got the money. It's not because he's broke. I, I just, I mean, I just know the guy. If he cared to, he could up 
whatever's going and it he could be right too that said he's is very intelligent so he could be absolutely correct it could be 100 percent control room but whatever it is mad dodge it's screwing me right now because he was i mean he was just on right we just got this new guy on he's fucking doing great right i'm like oh i got this great guy cabbage patch was target come on do you mind if he comes on no i don't mind comes on oh it's like Oh yeah, I got a really good idea. That's all I heard the whole fucking time. I know. I was I was there. I was in the chat. I I heard it all. Yeah, and it was. Good Lord, you know me, Mad. Mad you know me, Mad Dodge. Would I have given anyone else? I love him. I don't know what else to say. Most people, by the fucking second time, I would have just been like, too bad. Oh. Well, well, yeah, there's been times where you were like, hey, dude, um, you want to come on? And I'm like, man, right now, I have so much background noise, you're going to hate me. You know what I mean? I, and you know what? But I can I, still no. hear you, Mad Dodge. I can hear you. I actually, I don't know, and I fuck with you. I, I, if you haven't noticed, I don't fuck with you anymore because I think me teasing you sometimes you took it a little serious. I, like, man, dude, your daughter's nuts. I can hear her specifically screaming. Like, I think she actually knows when you go on the, the older one because it seems like when you go oh, on. Oh no, it's it's crazy too. I'll lay the twins down for a nap. Right, I have twins, one year olds. One's a boy, one's a girl. So I'll lay them down in their separate rooms and then I'll go live and then it doesn't matter. Like if I don't go live, they'll take their nap. If I go live, they're going to scream no matter what. I don't know how they know. I have headphones on. <laughs> it's like, it's, it just fucking happened. Well, and this is the true red eye stream. I don't hear a baby crying at all, but it's actually midnight where you're at. It's 3 14 yeah, in the it's... morning where I am. We are on yeah, the 12, midnight 14. patrol. Hey, if you're a night yeah. owl and you do dig this, press one because I'll tell you what I'll do. I, I'm doing this because I'm telling you, man, the new guy, he's a slave driver. Uh, he's good and all. I love him too. I do love him, but he's a, he's got like these visions, man, you know? He's got like delusions of well, grandeur. You know, you know what, Ogre? Yeah. I just, I didn't know there was a, a contest going on or maybe I would have tried to fill in. No, 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 let me, let me explain too. There was no contest. The guy that I'm talking about right now that I'm actually kind of probably belly aching. It sounds like a bitch about, no, I asked him on the common sense guy. And I asked him on, he didn't, nobody tried out. In fact, I don't think there's a tryout just like comments. I know you were fucking blowing my train. I know, but I want to make that. I think you did it for a reason though. Because I think you're smart enough to know that probably some people wonder, well, why aren't I there? And I know I'm not stupid, Matt Dodge. It's not you. You got your own fucking live stream, obviously. But I, I know what you were saying. And no, he did not ask for the job that I think, I mean, it's until Common Sense Guy gets his computer built, there's no money for anybody. Uh, so far, it's public knowledge. We, we've earned in the last two months 175 quid, something like that. And as soon oh. as he gets the, the money for a computer, he'll build it. And maybe, I don't know what will happen after that. After that, it'll all still go to Common Sense Guy. He'll split it or whatever. He I don't know. He might keep it all for me. I have no idea. But he well, did over, not. That, that's, that's nobody's business, what you well, guys no, but are it spending. Is, it is. Your donations a lot of people on. probably wonder that, though. It is everybody. It's everybody's business here, Mad Dodge. These are the, like, diehards. These are the fucking ride or dies right here with us. This is 058, Captain Copile. I mean, these are the ride or dies. So yes, it's absolutely, it's their business. And that's that's what it is though. I mean, no no one tried out for any spot. No one got fired, as in whoever used to be here before Magic Bollocks. No one got fired. Uh, if anyone would leave, it would be on their own volition. It would never be because they would ask to leave. And no one really, it was so weird how it happened, man. We were on, we just did a thing with Shinobi Yaki. Uh, and yeah, magic, no magic bollocks, and it just like it was an after chat thing, and I don't know, man. Yeah, I'll quit rambling, but it, well, it, 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 yeah, well, no, ogre, I wasn't there for the after chat, obviously, but I was there for the show. I like you're right, I watch almost every show you put out, really. Um, I you know, I'll go chop wood, I'll come in, start my fire, and I'm like, oh, who's live streaming? 
because yeah youtube's kind of my thing right now i'm trying to build my channel i'm watching other youtubers i'm in the community so yeah i i saw this i must be at a good time frame for you also must be because you you are you're one of my ride or dies man you really are i wouldn't say that but you just said it uh well yeah like there's some uh, we got about 20 of y'all that are fucking die hard i love (laughs) y'all Well, yeah, dude, like, seriously, I'll wake up and I'll go chop wood, I'll get my kids fed and do everything. And then it's like 1230 and I'm like, what's going on? Oh, Ogre is doing a stream, a, a stream in half an hour. All right. Hey, you know, man, I'm on the I, I got it. Okay, I'm I got it. Hang on stuff. now. Look, I think I've got to play something very quickly. All right, man. 17. All right, uh, Ogre, 25. what's your number? 25. The, the number was 19, my lucky number, so 17 is closer. Manic, oh, you go first. Uh, I think that uh, when, the, when, the, when the people had uh, written up the Second Amendment, they, they actually already had um, uh, multiple fire rounds. That, you know, there were loads of uh, inventions being done with, uh, with firearms, and ultimately the, the, the idea of it was to make sure that in case something happened, we wouldn't need the army to come back each to each state to have to defend themselves through the army. Uh, not to mention the, uh, the the ability to defend yourself against crime. But yeah, I, th- you're absolutely allowed to have um, uh, semi-automatic weapons. I even think you should be allowed to have automatic weapons with the right regular uh, with the right license, which is already the case. The uh, the the fact of the matter is the reason we've never been taken over by a foreign country is the fact that we can actually uh, nobody wants to come over here with a with an actual army because every citizen could have a gun. Each house becomes a threat versus another country that doesn't have that. So yeah, I totally think we should. Uh, uh, it, it applies to modern weapons. Absolutely, and well, and see, like I'm supposed to be the moderator, so I'm gonna try not to be. Yeah, here. don't agree with me. You're a terrible moderator if you fucking agree with me. Well, dude, <laughs> I was going to jump right in there. I thought it took a good time. I, I was going to oh. get a stopwatch, but I think if we both keep our ideas to sync like you just did, it'll, it'll be fun. Go ahead, so Ogre. Yeah, oh, I'm going to be gonna a say that, uh, Regardless of the puckle gun or any other idea that you want to bring up about uh, rapid fire weapons, um, they, they did. They had no idea. Not only did they have any idea about the the range of weapons that we would have in this modern day and age, they also didn't have any idea about the the necessity for government that we. Oh my God! I'm gonna do my best. So I'm gonna try <laughs> to keep <clears throat> the necessity for government that we have nowadays, and how it is that in this modern day and age, we really need to rely on the police and on the military and the the authority figures to tell us what is correct and what is right and in a modern society they should be the only ones that bear arms okay well no no i'll be fair i understand what you're doing ogre i understand okay so my question to you sir um all right so you have the modern day um police state for lack of a better term um, who gets to train the police officers, and do they get to keep um, semi-automatic weapons or automatic weapons? I mean, what happened to the days of Andy Griffith? Was would that was that the, be me was this time? Well, it went first last time? Yeah, it, this is towards you. Wouldn't Andy Griffith be more of a proper police official than you know? the SWAT team moving in and shooting the guy in Arizona, for example. So when did it switch from Andy Griffith to a military style police force? Well, and not sure where how do my, you draw the line? I'm not sure how my interlocutor, except for where we will draw the line. So since you ended it that way, I do see where my interlocutor will have something to say about this. But when I consider Andy Griffin, you know, I think of Barney. Uh, Barney Fife, you know, he didn't even have bullets in his gun. And I, I consider the UK, and you know, they don't have any weapons over there. I mean, the Bobbies don't carry guns. They don't need guns. Um, you know, all we need to do is have stricter gun control laws. And obviously, if we look at, um, you know, if we look at uh, the Down Under, 
Oz, you know, they, they stopped, they did gun control, round them all up, and look how what good it did down there. I mean, they had one mass shooting down there, and they took everybody's right to bear arms away and uh, down there. And look how good that worked out. So I would just say that, you know, I would leave it at that for a minute. All right. Well, uh, to, to respond with, it's Andy Griffith, um, but that's fine. Uh, ultimately, yeah, that was a toughie. Of- <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's all good. When you were, uh, when, when at, at that particular time period, you had much uh, limited uh, travel, you had much limited uh, uh, communication, so everything was in a much slower state. It could actually work a little better because of the fact that, you know, everybody kind of knew each other. Now the population has boomed. Uh, everybody is kind of in each other's own business through the internet and through um, um, the media. Basically, we're, 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 in a, we're in a stage where you can't know everybody. So you're essentially going to want to trust a government to do that. I can't imagine doing that because you don't know who they are. And getting back to this question about who you would trust to train them, I, I, I have massive trust issues anyway, but that's regardless. We are at a point where no, the left hand is not talking to the right hand anymore, which has created so much of a clusterfuck in, in terms of uh, how each system works that there's no way to make a universal regulation for it. And if, you know, you had used uh, um, Australia as the example. Um, yeah, sure, they, they've had less gun violence, but I've, I've also noticed that, that cars seem to be a, be a bit of a problem with them at the moment. Yeah, yeah, trucks of peace. Oh, man, hang on yeah. now. I'm going to just break character and tell you, I threw you a softball, man, I get it. The, the best response with the to me is what you said, but add this to the, your argument. It's anecdotal, but the left always loves the anecdotal, so you can throw this out. You know, Crocodile Dundee, when they did the thing that I threw at you, the roundup guns in, in Oz, <laughs> Crocodile Dundee was like, I'm not giving up me rifle for when I go out to the outback, mate. The, the Crocodile Dundee, the movie's about the man, not the real guy, not the actor. And so there was a six day standoff, they end up killing him. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, my, my, my view on that is uh, it's always it's going to take a man with a gun to take away another man's gun. It, so. That's what it took. It took them six days for that fucking hard bitten motherfucker. But they they will. Shit. They'll, they'll, do, it. They'll do it to, to any of us one, one at a time. But if we stood together, they could never do that. Unfortunately, we're never going to do that because we're too busy fucking arguing over the dumbest fucking shit on the planet. Yeah, I, and we yeah. got it right now. To, and look, and look, I'm sorry. Mad Dodge is the mediator. Good argument. Let's keep it going. You got like, that was two. So you got at the most before I either play a song or go to bed, you got like one or two more questions as long as they're good. Like that last one. Well, Come on, Mad all right so gun control all and then right. i think uh i went for oh, so it's your turn to go first this time uh, manic when he asked all right so um don't you think that bump stocks should be outlawed you know i mean come on you look at the vegas incident and you look at stuff like that and you have people firing just it's almost like an automatic weapon man i bump mean they stocks just, is that what you said bump stocks bump stocks that's right yeah and you have these people just firing off it's almost like it's you know an ak-47 but it's not so i mean you got to control this right don't you manic i mean you have to control it so people can't just use their belt belt loop god damn it okay i'll break the character all right i'll try to get back he gets it he gets it (laughs) That's good. So, you do good. Man. You do good, man. You, you can't allow these people to have bump stocks because if you do, then they're just gonna shoot everybody because they're crazy. Look at these gun shows, man. They're just selling these bump stocks like fucking hotcakes, dude. Loophole. They're just selling them off, and they're selling also kits to make automatic weapons out of semi-automatic. They're just selling them off like crazy. No background checks. You got to do something, don't you, Manic? You can't let this happen. You know, like, these gun nuts are going to kill us all. Are you sure you're not on Ogre's fictional side right now because a bunch of that stuff yeah, I don't is know. He was completely like, bullshit? Did, did, there is no such thing as the gun show loophole, and uh, they aren't selling things that allow you to uh, make your gun automatic if you don't have a license for it. Um, it's actually illegal to do that. Um, in terms of bump stocks, um, 
we should actually be grateful that he had a bump stock because he would have been able to shoot more accurately without one. Um, it is incredibly inaccurate to shoot with a bump stock because of the way the action works. Um, I've only shot one once and I missed like crazy with it. And uh, yeah, so um, it's kind of one of those things that it's a, more of a talking point than anything else. But if people want to ban something that essentially reduces your ability to hit targets accurately, knock yourself out. Doesn't really fucking bother me. It's uh, it's really the 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 gun itself. Um, if like, if you take like a cylinder gun, um, um, like a six shot, if you can't hit your target in six shots, you probably shouldn't be firing a gun in the first place. I'm I'm all about fucking um, um, increased training. I think uh, the more people know about guns, and the more people have a little bit more exposure, the less uh, the less the ridiculous conversation we're gonna have, and the, the 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 better people will be with guns. Go ahead, ogre, because I'm about ready to just praise him because I agree with everything he said. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and as he said earlier, thank you for being impartial. Um, well, what I would say is, um, you know, if we want these automatic weapons like AR-15s on the streets in the hands of young children, you know, shooting up people and taking lives like uh, Sandy, Sandy Hook, and, and uh, we want these things to happen like Columbine, well, then I guess we will allow these, these fully automatic weapons such as AR-15s and AK-57s to be on the streets and in the hands of these young people. You know, and if that's what you would be, would uh, uh, you know advocate for, that's you know that's your business. You can do what you want if you're an NRA kind of guy. Uh, but myself, I would say that um, you know we we have to think about this. <laughs> this is can I just can I just strangle you now, <laughs> please? I just I really want to strangle you. That's all I want to do. I mean, even I know you're, you're playing a character, but God damn it! I was trying to string it on, dude. I had something else, man, but I was gonna go to the children to get it. it was so funny that I laughed before I even said it. <laughs> Oh, so no, but here's here's a real argument for that. So, um, I would rather here's here's where I was going with that. So I would rather that uh, you know a human being would have a real good shot like Lee Harvey Oswald, who was able to get off four good <laughs> shots, man. One headshot, one headshot. Pow, fucking you know, pow, front side, pow to the a moving vehicle. Pow, bang. You know, it's a brooder, baby. Boom. It's a brooder. Dang. And then and then he got the senator, too. He got that motherfucker. <laughs> so, Amazing so, shot. Amazing uh, shot, that Lee Harvey Oswald. I'm telling you. So, regardless, I would rather have somebody that could have a clean shot like that than have some bump stock, to be perfectly honest. As a lefty, I got to be honest to say that I don't think there's much wrong with a uh, something that makes a weapon less accurate than it would be otherwise. That's really tough. <laughs> at that one it is well, i see people though folks i could have done it i was doing all right so yeah no i, 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 I applaud laughing. i applaud the effort my friend i applaud the effort nope Good. totally pro gun file said uh should the government keep a registry mad dodge productions oh uh, no no they fucking shouldn't no i think that was a question <laughs> to the two of us so in good form uh manic idiot you go first because i'm half stoned should the government keep a, a registry of, of who owns a firearm? Uh, I at uh, For a while, I was in favor of that because ultimately I didn't think anything was wrong with it until fucking Hawaii popped its fucking cherry with the idea of taking guns away from fucking stoners because they had both a registry for pot users and a registry for gun owners. And I realized that, oh, I see that this has a bit of a slippery slope situation. So I'd say... I think um, I, I think the uh, background check situation is perfectly fine. I think that, that we should have some training that should be required before you get your license, and certainly depending on what licenses you get. Um, but a registry, no, I, I I don't agree. I think it'll uh, I think it gives uh, the government a little bit too much more power than they deserve. Well, I, I, if I was to argue the other side, I would just say uh, that the government is so benevolent and loves you so much. That they have your best oh, of you, <laughs> and that you can trust them, and they just want to know your information and your papers. They just want your papers. It's not a big deal. Show oh, me your you, papers. You may go across the checkpoint, and they may say, you know, we we'd like to see your papers. If, you if you're a good citizen, you got nothing to hide, and you want to be all right, and you want to be an American. Hail! You just give them your papers. And you say, 
said, thank you, sir, may I please go on? And they say, yeah, thank you for showing us your papers. Kyle, that's all well, I got. Yeah. Well, Ogre, what happens when people like me go, like no, no, Ogre, you're playing a good part. Keep it up. What happens when people like me go, uh, you know, I don't want to show you my papers. They're well, like, well, sh- show us or else. And I'm like, well, well or else what, bitch? What? Like I got a gun on my hip. What are you gonna do? No, I don't. I don't. I don't suggest that at all. If you have a gun and you interact with any of these fake, phony uh, actors with costumes on, with shiny stickers all over them, and fancy cars with lights and and Fruit Loops and whatnot, I suggest that you never. That the first thing you do is say, "I am armed." My weapon is down here. Keep the hand that's up close to your weapon. They just murdered a kid for trying to pull his pants up. You should all be armed, but just if the cops are involved, you always take your hand away from the weapon. And it's not because I don't agree with where Mad Dodge was going. It's because I don't want anyone to die. I'm, uh, they, they I'm pretty much in completely the... agreement with Ogre on this one. Yeah, you know, when you're dealing with law enforcement, it's it's better to be safe because it's not their job to shoot you; it's their job to arrest you. Yep, they'll kill you though. They will kill you. Oh yeah. Oh no, no they will. Here. I'm just saying, it's their job. Technically speaking, their job is to stop sure you, yep. not to 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 arrest you. But if they have to do deadly force, you, you're dealing with one of the da- most dangerous uh, professions on on uh, planet Earth, Earth and their uh, uh, end. And they are at the moment have the least amount of respect. So you you know they're they're yep. always on edge. Very. You know what, manic manic. I would actually argue with you. I would say uh, deep sea fishing, um, coal mining. Um, I can think of a million other professions oh, no, that no, are more dangerous more... than being a police officer. And you know what, the average death rate of a police officer is actually quite low. Um, did this I don't think, uppity... but you weren't saying it was dangerous, were you, manic idiot? I I didn't hear him say it was dangerous because I, I think he's I, on the I same did. page. I, mean, I, I did, but it might have been a poor choice of words. It's a risky profession, it really is. I mean, and, and it's, I, a, it's he, an he edgy. Makes... I liked when you were saying it was edgy because oh, no, I... Mad Dodge is right too. It's not even in the top one hundred if you want to look at it. Neither is American soldier, be it Air Force, Marines, whatever. That's one of the safest jobs you can have. It it's just still, you're, you're, you're still dealing with what would be considered the worst of the worst. Um, yeah. the, most of the time you're dealing with just regular Joes, but uh, that job by definition as law enforcement, they're dealing with people who are breaking the law. Well, it, and, and that's the problem, man. It is you've got a cop, right? He's been on the job four or five years, okay? He's gotten calls on an old lady getting freaked out and cutting her an old man and some dude beating his old lady. and fuck, That's usually what it is, is okay so that goes on for a long time and the, the odd theft of a bicycle is okay so now you fast forward to five years and somebody tries to take his gun in an all-out struggle from what was a routine traffic stop i'm not giving credence to the police okay i just said i said very clearly what i believe what i think about them that do you like you said though there's a lack of respect and i'm part of the problem in that so i'm trying to be honest me too. I, and, I have, but, but, I have but a real it comes problem with rules. That, so. it's, that, it's that long period of nothing. And I'll end on this. I want to hear what you think about this manic, manic idiot. It's that long period of, of just like I said, routine bullshit with that. Someone suddenly trying to kill you. And once that happens, once, maybe twice, everyone you see. So it's not the person, it's the profession. And we should give them a little leeway for that. Well, in the in in the case of uh, like a routine traffic stop, if you look at it from a from a practical standpoint, when you get pulled over by a cop, you the driver in in your regular vehicle, you know that officer is armed. There's no question about it. You see those lights? That means he got a gun. That's Un- right. Unlike the officer who has no idea what he's walking into. So no clue. regardless, regardless of of his training, he's still going to be on edge with that particular i don't know who's going to be in this car i don't know what's going to be in this car and i still have a job to do we've triggered you know, we've triggered bad dodge yeah yeah you have uh, i totally disagree um okay so the cop that okay oregon is an open carry state you can carry your gun around with you wherever you want i have carried my 12 gauge around with me 
in a small town I grew up in here in Oregon. And nobody fucked with me. You know why? Because I'm not going around with my 12 gauge trying to shoot people. Merry Christmas, uh, uh, are. No, but no, but when you get the cops, they pull you over. Okay, you're a legal citizen with a gun. You say, hey, officer, my hands are on the steering wheel. I am. I do own a fucking concealed carry permit. I have my weapon right here on my hip. And they immediately go into felony stop mode. And what is that? That is you get on your fucking face on the ground. It doesn't Never matter. Had that happened to me. Um, I have. And it okay, doesn't well, matter if there's it doesn't matter if there's snow on the ground. Well, they don't give a fuck. And she tells cops, which only happened it, like twice, and I it, therefore it's they don't I mean she says I'm got to still carry it's in my purse. They just say, Well, okay, ma'am, don't put your hand by your purse. Exactly. That's that that's I, when I was when I've been pulled over with my firearm, um, and I told them about it, all they wanted to see was the fucking license and then said, you know, don't yeah. grab at it. They actually never even asked my wife for a license. They just, her purse was zipped up. She said, I, I mean, I'm in a left state, so they're a little bit more rigid about that. Oh, okay. Here well, they don't. I mean, maybe. here everybody's got a fucking shotgun in their truck, man. It's Michigan. <laughs> well, maybe you're lucky. Well, okay, so open carry is also a thing in Oregon. So, like, a shotgun in the back of the truck wouldn't be an issue. Oh, but we, you tell you the cop. Down the road. We got open, total open carry yeah. here. You walk down the road with a six shooter on your side if you want, anywhere here. Yeah, absolutely. Us too. But the thing is, if you go, hey, I'm a concealed carry, so it's hidden, they'll go into felony stop mode. That's a bad which means Oregon, That sucks. Bad, anyway. that, that, yeah, that's bad. That, that's that bad sucks. police work. I, that, and I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I'm, I'm in agreement with you. That's taking it too far. Yeah, very far. Yeah. If, if if you're being if you're being upfront about it, they should treat you with respect. They should treat you just like they treat another fellow officer. Because if you've got a concealed carry, you've been through a class, right? Panic. Yeah. I mean, at least in my state. You, yeah, any absolutely. State I know if you can't just get a fucking concealed yeah. carry license anywhere. Oh, if well, you yeah. Can, please. Uh, uh, yeah, Ma- uh, Mad Dodge. I'm totally in agree with you that 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 is absolutely ridiculous. That's what well, if, if if they go into felony stop mode, that's that's. It, it you know if you're being upfront with the police officer you should be treated with that amount of respect because you're you're showing them the respect you're not hiding anything you're being upfront about it in this state i don't know what you mean felony stop mode because they okay, in this so state, it, man a good friend of my mine just man he killed himself last year in jail with the fucking razor blade in the shower i'm not even shit man Oh, there's a there's a nice mood boost for the fucking audience. No, I'm telling I'm telling y'all the truth, man. Pete Carroll, he's done, he's gone. Well, selling and, uh, but, but, no, no. There's a point to this. Um, you, you. <laughs> no, go ahead. I guess that was a bummer. I just, I won't try to make the point from that. Why did I bring that up? <laughs> go, go ahead, man. Uh, yeah, felony stop mode is okay. So you get pulled over and they read your license plate and they're like, oh shit. Grand Theft Auto or whatever, like you know, they want to investigate man, you more. Pete Don't Carroll, you know what they cars, do? man, motherfucker! Don't be stealing cars. I live. I, Pete Carroll. I'm never down stole. the street with a hatchet in one hand. Oh man, this is over. Dead to sleep, right? I'd, I'd yell for her. I don't want to yell much louder than I am now. Anywhere, she'll get up, come on here, and kick my ass. But she, she knows this is the truth. <laughs> this guy I told you about, the crazy guy that killed himself in the shower. <clears throat> walk down the street with a hatchet in one hand and a machete in the other. When the cops, you know, confronted him because he was, he was, he, this guy wasn't right. I, he was a good friend of mine, but he just wasn't right. He would go off on a nut sometimes and God knows why and nobody could stop. And his big thing was, tell me I can't walk down the road legally with these. And they couldn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I was, I was, I witnessed this shit. <laughs> often now, I was stoned and drunk, and I was off in the distance, like at the party, watching him doing the talking to the, interacting with the law enforcement of uh, Beaverton, Michigan. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think you've got uh, I think you've got a bad police force if, if what if what's happening to you is what I think you're describing. Um, oh no, Dodge. they didn't do shit to not, it. Not no. you. Shut up. I'm not talking about oh, sorry, you. Sorry. I'm talking, sorry. About, I'm talking about the felony stop situation. If 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 that's what's happening oh, to I you, love our cops. Run about it. You've got you, you've got problem police, and they need better training, and they need you. you that that's fucked up. Right. 
Oh, and I get it. I see well, what you're saying. You, you understood. I'm saying we have good police here. They don't, they don't bother you here. You gotta break well, the law and be a dick. You gotta kind of, you gotta do both here. You can break the law. They still may not arrest you. They got no, no. Do. But the thing is, being a dick is not against the law, man. I can tell the cops that oh, I think no, they're no. a bunch of fucking douchebags. No, no, they and, will never arrest you for being a dick. But. If you have broken the law and they could arrest you or could not arrest you, and you're find you, dick, they may do it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. But no, and I uh, looked over in the chat. Let's see here. So, um, Anthony Gillis, you can't say that's bad police work all you want. They do that because they're used to dealing with gang members. They wouldn't do that if they didn't have the hardest job in America. Okay, oh, man. Um, sir. Oh. Okay, sir. First off, first off, I grew up in a town of forty-five hundred people. All right, no real gang presence. Okay, and the gang members that were there were like Mexican mafia selling fucking crystal meth. That's the gang members we're talking about. So no, no, not really. When they're doing a felony stop like that, they they pull you over. They read your plate. They're like, oh shit. Okay. So we got somebody here we gotta fuck with. So they open their door, they pull their gun, and they point it at you, and they say, hey, put your hands out the window, don't move, we're gonna come and get you. That's pretty much what happens. And then you get yanked out of your car, you get thrown on the ground, face down. It doesn't matter what temperature it is outside. It could be negative 10. They don't give a fuck. Well, if you've bro- well it, it, at that uh, point, no. if you've broken the law, then they're no. uh, absolutely justified. If they haven't, yeah. then they're doing what is known as an illegal fucking... Um, see, uh, 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 they're, be- they're, they're breaking the law. They're, they're violating your rights. Yeah, uh, but it doesn't matter at that point. If you broke the law or not, it doesn't matter because they can arrest you either way. The, the breaking the law part comes in court. You know what I mean? Well, but if you're intelligent and it came to that point that we're getting to, if you said nothing and you had any kind of lawyer, even a court, a court appointed a lawyer that you were saying, no, 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 man, I'm talking to you, no one else, right? Do you see this case? You, you there's you can't self incriminate. That's where I'm going with this. And so you might you do, and you might as well say that you've just won the biggest fucking lottery ticket of your life if they're behaving like that and you haven't broken the law. Right. But, but you know what most people do is they concede and they plea bargain because they're scared and that's that's what happens. Yeah, I'm just saying that yeah, I'm just saying that that's bad police work all around, man. I, oh, I, yeah, I just, yeah. So that's so I mean I I don't I, I'm against that, you know. If you're talking about uh, like fucking, I don't know, better training, I guess would be would be the bet that. But even then, you're, you're still dealing with with people who are dealing with like they said, presumably the worst of the worst. Whether or not you're in a small town or not, they're still trained like they're gonna fucking every car they're gonna roll up on is gangbangers. Yeah, and I'm, I've been up for 24 hours, but I'm gonna do another bong spot right now, man. I could it since you're still here. I think that means you're gonna do a shot. Yeah, I got, already got I got one poured. I've been waiting for you. Okay, all right. I was I was trying to bust your balls either, but here we go. I got it, man. I got right. it. I'm ready. Well, okay. Since you guys are on the same level, what do you think about? So I mean, can can the police actually overstep their bounds nice. in the ways Absolutely. of like? Well, no, not only like Mesa, Arizona, where they killed the guy, all right? I will argue, till, that'll be on my gravestone, that they killed that motherfucker. That, like, I'm going to tell my a wife. of a gravestone. That, whatever, <laughs> that's on there. Well, that and the South was right, but, you know. No, I'm but, on my grave, <laughs> at no. least put a pun on there, motherfucker. At least put yeah, a pun I, on I want mine to say, I want mine to say, if I didn't tell you when I was alive, suck my cock. <laughs> that's see that's that's using your gravestone the right way i, I would yeah. like that on my gravestone it will never be on there i actually i told my wife what i'd like my my gravestone to say is is if i didn't tell you when i was alive kiss my ass but i don't think she'd ever and i know i'll die before her i'm fucking a maniac 
She However, in, in, in answer to Mad, uh, in, in answer to Mad, Mad Dog, is um, his, uh, his overstepping right. bounds. The, they're they're people that you know. They as much training as you can give them, they're still fucking people, and people are fallible. So you're always gonna get bad fucking apples. You're always gonna get people who fuck up. You're always gonna get people who um, who read a little bit too different. You know, interpret those uh, those rules differently. So yeah, you're you're going to run into fucking problem officers, and there's you know there's ultimately no way around that. Well, yeah, that's a good point. But don't you think there's an inherent problem with people who were bullied in high school going growing up to be police officers, where they're like, you know. I was fucked over for 10 years of my life. I'm going to spend the rest of my life fucking those people over, especially small town cops. I mean, I, maybe I'm wrong here, but come on. No, no, no. You make a good point, and it, it, but it still falls under the fucking group of people that are essentially bad officers. And if I, I, there's no real way to practically weed out those people because oh, everybody lies. So, you know, the, the, the guy that got bullied will just tell the people what they want to fucking hear. And if they're good at fucking convincing other people, they're going to get the job. Very good point. Um, I would like to point out, okay, here's a short story. So, um, we were at my stepdaughter's uh, birthday at Abby's Pizza in the town I lived in at the time. Um, and my 12, well, he's 12 now. He was like 10 then. But my oldest son started being a dick. Started to act like a jackass. So I took him outside and I was like, hey, you're in timeout, look at the wall. That's all I said. And I stood there and I smoked my cigarette and I had him look at the wall. Well, somebody called the cops, right? So we were walking down the street three blocks away and a cop that I've known since high school that didn't necessarily like me very much, um, stopped us and he started interrogating me and being a dick and he like went to handcuff me like out of nowhere for no reason but i was like uh dude you're not gonna handcuff me in front of my kids and he actually did not handcuff me and he did not beat me over the head with his billy club which he probably could have because i literally stiffened it was like no you're not doing that at that point that's resisting arrest correct um, it, it could be argued, um, when it comes to dealing with police, my best advice is say as little as possible. Um, you, you don't want to give any more information than they require you to give, which is by law. Um, that's pretty much uh, lawyering 101. Um, but my, 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 it, when, when dealing with that, if I had recognized somebody from high school that I knew we didn't get along and it was clearly he was being a dick, it would become very straightforward and there, there, there would be as little communication as possible and if it became starting to get out of control i would demand a, a lawyer at that point um because if you if they're gonna waste your time fuck it waste theirs as well well no the funny thing is like it was a birthday party at abby's so my best friend was there also and oh they won't, I grew get, up they, they won't, they won't get out of control if there's witnesses dude well, no, and no, this is funny. Like, this is a small town, so my my best buddy was a witness for the so-called crime, right? So supposedly, I was beating my kid when I told him to look at the wall because he's in timeout. That's beating him. So that's what we're talking about here. Oh. And my buddy, my buddy rode by, and he's like, what the fuck's going on, Mad Dodge? You know, he didn't say that. Yeah, I know. You know I, I get it. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, no, and the cop looked at him and goes, what the fuck are you doing, Travis? Get the fuck out of here. You're not wanted here. I'm doing an investigation. Okay, dude, he was at the birthday party. He was there for everything you're he's, investigating. He's, he's, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's a cop that's trying to abuse the situation because you're legally allowed to be a witness. And uh, uh, in, in this in this situation, again, you're just dealing with a bad cop. Now, I, I was checking over at chat, and uh, Anthony Gillis was... Uh, talking about um, problem offices wouldn't be an issue if they were properly funded. Um, I'm in a bit of disagreement. I think, you know, I, I think more funding definitely wouldn't hurt, but money doesn't solve everything. It, you, you're still, go there's no foolproof way of getting rid of problem people. They, 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 they find their way into everything. And 
the, the best defense is to be smarter than your fucking officer. And that's and, and that's the thing that I think we don't teach enough in, in, in schools is law, how to deal with day-to-day law situations. Because if you're smarter than the officer, you won't get yourself in trouble. Um, I, you know, if you watch if you watch enough fucking uh, cop shows and shit like that, you'll find the people that get arrested are opening their mouth and saying shit they shouldn't be saying. Absolutely, yeah, I totally agree. And in this certain situation, I kind of laughed when he told him to get the fuck out of there, because he he's like, dude, I'm doing an investigation. Get the fuck out of here. I'm like, well, he's a witness, you dumb pig. But anyway. Well- <laughs> and boys, it's been a long night, been a long day. I've actually made it all the way around. I can hear my roosters crowing. I just went to pee, and while I was peeing, I could hear him, man. I can hear him. Right I know on. who it was. I even know his name. It was Degu. Dude, you've been going for three hours. I fucking get it. No, on this? Oh, yeah, three hours. But no, I'm not kidding. And I did a, a live stream earlier today. What the fuck did I do today? Hell, it's been such a long, because I know I think I just jumped on here. I started playing music, but I am going to do this, folks. I can't remember if it's you, Matt, Manic Idiot. Somebody asked for some Jethro Tull, so I'm going to play this very short tune after I say what I'm going to say now. But that's it, boys. I really uh, thank you for coming. Respect Absolutely. everything that you have to say. I'm not going to abridge anybody's um, thoughts or ideas other than our time has come to an end. Dude, so it was fun. Thank you for having me on. Oh, no worries, man. Hope to have you back, man. I get it. You're actually, you're on the, I mean, I, I follow you on Twitter. I've watched a lot of your show. I don't always comment or say, but I'm, you're actually one of my favorites. So good to have you here, man, is what I'm saying. Same with Matt Dodge also. I think he knows. I'm kind of a fan. It's weird to have Matt Dodge here. I'm kind of a fanboy. And, you know, he was saying it earlier about the numbers. It's, it's strange about numbers. Sometimes it don't matter. Um, if it's Gavin McGinnis or Mad Dodge Productions to me, I don't know fucking Mad Dodge Productions. I don't know. I fucking don't know if Mad. I would if he could walk by me tomorrow, right here, shoulder to shoulder, look me in the eye and go, "Merry Christmas!" Tomorrow, I wouldn't know. I would. I, if he said "Merry Christmas," though, I might know him because of his voice, but that would be the only way. And uh, that's kind of a wonderful anonymity that we share here. I, I love the ideas we share. Uh, and before I play this very short song, I'll say this. Never give up what you believe in. If you can argue one side, you should be able to argue the other, okay? And if you can't argue the other, look, I'm not saying shut the fuck up. I'm just saying if you can't argue both sides, just have your opinion and don't argue. Because there's no way, no way, you can't take a stance and i don't mean like a stance like this is what i think i mean you can't take a stance this is where i'll die unless <laughs> you know what you're talking about if you do you're a reckless fool <laughs> you know darwin award to you i don't know Yi Ching would say your luck is running out you know, it, it's just you're done you have to be able to discern between what is folly and what is good. And if you can't do that, I, I really, I've said it all. So be good to your friends and be good to your family members. Be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry. And be, uh, even, be fair to your enemies. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friend, your family member, your loved one has done seems to be so huge. You'll never be able to forget about it. Because y'all know, constant viewer, at a time you think not, your friends your family members, your loved ones, your life, your cause, and everything you know. Nope, Good. totally pro-gun. Why did, why did wrenches, why are wrenches gone? Why are there now, and oh man, we got, it's like 15. When we started <laughs> negotiation, there were, oh, there were over 150. I want to say that I got 10%, but I didn't. There were something like 250 wrenches. I mean, wrenches. Anybody came on this thing, if I seen their name, I gave them a wrench. Well, to you folks, this is not the case. But I had to hear Magic Bollocks. I had to listen to it. I had to hear about it. When people come here that aren't like you folks, they're not 
you folks, okay? They're not Mad Dodge Productions or definitely not Anthony Gills. I mean, there's so many. In fact, I see a couple here with no wrenches. It's hard for me, folks. I want to give you a wrench now. In fact, I'm always going to say this much. If you don't have a wrench and you would like to you know, get any link on here or a video that you've done, anything, just make sure you get my attention. I'll always, I will shoot it out. If you've got to give it to me on Twitter, email, I will shoot it out. Mad Dodge, you know that's true. Tell these people it's true. So, why no wrenches? Well, I had to listen to the facts. Not so much common sense guy. I don't think he is the kind of mastermind um because you know, I'm not either. I'm not taking anything away from common sense, but I don't think he's the kind of mastermind that magic bollocks is. I really don't. What will change? I don't know. Next Christmas at this time, we may have 1,120 subs as we do now. I don't know. That's what has come to this channel in a year. And to me, it seems wonderful, but I have to be open-minded and I have to listen to magic bollocks. For those of you that haven't figured out, yes, he took the Britisher's seat. I, I don't want to, I can't say it in any other way. He took the Britisher seat. And not because he interviewed while the Britisher was here and he was better than the Britisher. No, no, nothing like that. Magic Bollocks would be the first one to be pissed if I said it was anything like that or led you to believe it was anything like that. He's actually a big fan of the Britisher, as am I. But the seat was vacant, it was empty, it was cold, it was getting moldy. And Common Sense Guy and I, shit, dude, look, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a dick, but Common Sense Guy or myself could do the show by ourselves. okay? No problem. Look at Common Sense Guy's videos, look at my videos. I'm Look at me now. I mean, I would, how long you want me to talk, folks? Put it in there. I would just bullshit with you as long as you would like. Captain Cole Pile's up in y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably going to go till sunrise too, Captain Cole Pile. I think of that. I mean, look at all the fucking times you've been scraping coal off the ground so that I can have bloody electricity. I, I feel like it's the least I can do. So, no, we, we knew that Common Sense Guy and I, we knew. We had a, it. It was an opening, okay? Nobody fired anybody. Nobody left in a huff. <laughs> Maybe the later, maybe the later, but we didn't know. <laughs> okay, so we, uh, at the time, nobody left in a huff. <laughs> Guess they were a butter. And then, so we, this guy showed up, this magic bollocks, okay? And just like the rest of you lot, I don't know what to say. Hate Captain Cole Pyle because him and uh, stories, Welshman stories, are doing their own thing. And Welshman stories won't even bloody talk to me anymore, man. I miss him. I miss him. I really do. Uh, I would tell him I'm sorry. I and I would I actually I would mean it uh, because I am sorry it, that we ganged up on him. I said it on air before. I, I'm not going to go there. So the wrenches, the wrenches. So there was this empty seat, you know. There was this spot cooling off, and it was occupied by the Britisher, and eh, relatively intelligent. Uh, su I would say pseudo intelligent uh, robot from MI6. No one knows where he's from. I thought nobody could pinpoint his uh, voice patterns. He's an MI6 robot, 1968 model. I mean, that's just the way it is. And so he, I guess he was off for repairs or whatever. While, while he was off getting repairs, there was a vacant seat. And look, I, I'm hemming and hawing around this manic idiot. Holy shit, manic idiot. Your video, I, I'm, we'll get back to this, but Manic Idiot, your video saved my life. I may have blown my bloody, I may have blown my bloody, I may have blown my bloody brains out tonight. You never know. I mean, I could, could be just making this up, but your video saved my life. I that shit I watched tonight, Manic Idiot. And I'll tell you what, it was it was Nachi free. Nachi will be on the fifth. Oh man, I mean, everything you see, when you see uh, me right there on the thing, why can't you see me? 
Oh, I see, because I got it on pause right here. Uh, <clears throat> Nachi Free did the art that you see when I do this. Oh, I'll do it now, because I was a little confused. I was looking at things. I got other lost in the chat. That's, he did that. He did all this. Manic idiot, I tell you. He touched me off on that thing he did tonight. And, oh, sorry. Wait, what am I saying? Oh, I guess I give... Pro okay, wait, wait. Manic idiot. This is the Christmas stream. We're going to go into more, some more music, man. I hope y'all like it. But we're going go into music after I explain the reason the wrenches. And then I'll go. Okay, so we'll get back to the wrenches. Manic idiot. It was the finer print. And I realized I haven't even apologized to him yet because I'm trying to think of how to say it. Um, common sense guy. He arranges everybody in here. And I'm not blaming him. Holy fuck, he didn't even know I did this. I got a little tipsy one night. And then I went off and I seen the finer print. I was like, come on, Wednesday. And then he's Wednesday, I'm busy, and then Friday. And then I noticed he was in the chat on Friday, but he was too cool to say anything. Oh, fuck. Anyway, I blew him off like a dipshit. So, manic idiot. The finer print, the guy that I blew off like a dipshit, is the reason I found the video you did. Oh, my brother, my brother, my brother. I'll tell you what, when I want to smoke weed, because I know who you are. When I want to smoke weed, manic idiot, uh, I will turn the camera off because I don't want you to have to watch it. Uh, <laughs> so, the wrenches. Yeah, we had another guy here. There was three of us. There was the three musketeers. There still are the three musketeers. We just had a little bit of a, you know, a, a, what do you call it? A, 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 we had, a, what do you call it? A change. We had a change. We had a staffing change. You know, we had a, we had a, an employment change. And, uh, you know, we had the Britisher, and we had myself, we had the Common Sense Guy. Common Sense Guy just came on, like, four months ago, and he was fit then. And then the Britisher was taking a break, and then all of a sudden this guy came around. And I don't know who the fuck he is. I don't know the guy. I don't know. Nobody recommended him. It's not like, he, there's this dude, okay? Magic Pollock. He just showed up one day. He's in the chat. He's saying funny shit. The next thing I know, you know, we're fucking, I mean... He's on the show, and uh, I didn't even know what happened, really. But did, did okay, so, and I'm not blaming it on Magic Bollocks, but if you got a problem, talk to him. What what happened then was he was like, "Man, look, your channel sucks." I want. I'm not even kidding. I want to be a part of this, but it's beneath me. <laughs> so. If if you will just do everything you can to, and see if I'm lying. Look, I just put up two videos. I haven't put up a video in months, in months, but I just put up two. I did one like a couple days ago. I did one today on Merry Christmas. I'll do three a week. I'll do three a week because I do understand that our live streams are very, they're very uh, ecocentric. They, they're all us and no one else is allowed. And they're very, you know, ecocentric. I don't know what to say it. Nobody else is allowed. They don't know the inside jokes. They can't come in. And so, you know, we try this other thing. <laughs> and that's why the wrenches. So if you're here, in fact, manic idiot. I, and I ain't doing it, damn it, manic idiot. You're not here enough for me to do it. In fact, no one else is. I can't. I only gave one to Mad Dodge Production because I've fought for a bunch of names. His was one of the names. And we had to get down to, I think it was 15. From 100, and it was like 250, but I keep saying 150 because that was my stance. So I want to stick with 10%. And so we got down to that. We got down to this, and it sucks. You know, if I had my total way, everybody would have a wrench. But if I had to choose between the guy that wanted to promote this channel and make it something more than it is right now, with no thought of censorship, with no thought of stifling me or the common sense guy and who we are, with no thought of telling us what to tweet <laughs> or what videos to put up like we needed a daddy. <laughs> well, I mean, I will take that guy. And if he's smart like this guy is man magic bollocks tune in on monday well no he won't no one will be here monday tomorrow but me and i say tomorrow but i'm kind of giving you this now this will probably run into my time for tomorrow, so. tune in and check him out man the magic bollocks is intelligent 
Uh, he's smart. Uh, that's intelligent, right? But he's also articulate. Uh, he's he is not afraid to defend any of his ideas or opinions. And for me, for myself, after a lot of thought, the lineup that was will never happen again. I don't like censors. I don't like people that tell me what to say and when to say it. I don't like people that stalk my Twitter and tell me which tweets I should take down because it doesn't look good. You know what? I don't give a fuck what looks good. I'm like Captain Cole Pile over here. I'm scraping shit off the ground, okay? That's what I'm doing for you folks. I'm scraping shit off the ground. Cole Pile, I can't. This is all I got. This is how I can explain it. I'm scraping shit off the ground and giving it to y'all. I want that shit to look and smell and be as nice as it possibly can. But there's no way around it. It's shit. That's why that shirt stays there. You know, people say, oh, it says fuck you on your shirt. And you say fuck you, ogre. And you send out tweets that got a guy on that says go fuck yourself. Yes! Yeah, I do. Tonight, I felt such freedom I have not felt in so long, man. I was on Twitter tonight. Somebody was... Oh, I'd have to look it up to even see their names. And I will, actually. Because I got lost in the in the haze on this one, man. And it was like, wow. Because these two dudes are so cool. Uh, it was uh, Jeremy Maddox, the based Howard Beale, and McStabby Pants on Twitter. And these the people they were debating with, I've already been through it with them. They're not even worth... <laughs> <laughs> it's a ridiculous waste of time. They would only ever promote or help anyone that is as big a scumbag as they are. So why even try? You know, and this is the kind of thing I would have got censored on before. Why can't I call somebody a scumbag if they're a scumbag? If scumbag offends you, press one. And if you pressed one, get the fuck out of here and don't ever come back. <laughs> If words don't hurt you, press two and don't fucking press two. Just laugh and nod with me. You know what I mean? It's just fucking crazy. You know, dude, don't we all have our own opinion? Aren't we all allowed to think whatever it is that we think? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rush back through this and don't get me wrong, I'm saying a lot of this shit because I know this will never make it. I've been playing some music. Oh my goodness. So let me play this for y'all. I wish I could play the the, uh, the video, but I can't. They shut me down right here on the spot. They, For some reason, they never... Oh, yeah, 42. That's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. That's a, the based uh, Kayla. Oh, God, I love you, girl. 42. That is the answer to life, the universe, and everything and if kayla did not answer your questions this next song may 